Hi, my name is Heather Gromley and I'm part of the editorial team here at Worldbook. Spinosaurus is the largest known meat-eating dinosaur, even bigger than Tyrannosaurus. It lived from about 110 million to 100 million years ago, along shores in what is now North Africa. Scientists think Spinosaurus reached up to about 60 feet long, or 18 meters, and probably weighed about 6 to 9 tons. In fact, Spinosaurus may have grown even larger. Scientists have recovered relatively few fossils of Spinosaurus, and one of the very first fossils of the dinosaur was destroyed by Allied bombers in World War II. Aside from its enormous size, Spinosaurus had a few other unusual features. Most notably, it had huge spines growing out of its back. The spines were actually long, thin pieces of bone. They reached almost 6 feet, or 1.8 meters in length, and were essentially extensions of the animal's backbone. Some scientists speculate that the spines formed a sort of hump of fat tissue on the animal's back. But most scientists think the spines were probably covered and connected only by skin, creating an enormous sail on the animal's back. Scientists are not sure what purpose this sail served. It's possible that it was used for display to help attract mates. Perhaps Spinosaurus were attracted to larger or more colorful sails. It's also possible the sail played a role in regulating body temperature. The sail might have formed a giant heat collector that Spinosaurus could use in, with sunlight to warm its body. Also, the spines in the sail may also have helped Spinosaurus cool down. Air flowing around the sail could have carried away heat from blood within the sail, thus cooling the dinosaur's body. Finally, it's possible the sail was used to scare off other animals, including rival Spinosauruses. The sail could have intimidated other dinosaurs by making the already large dinosaur appear even bigger. Many scientists think the sail probably served multiple functions. Another unusual feature of Spinosaurus was the shape of its snout. It was narrow and long, shaped much like the mouth of a modern crocodile. Its mouth was also full of sharp teeth that fit together similarly to the way a crocodile's do. Finally, the nostrils on Spinosaurus were raised, located on top of its snout. This arrangement would have allowed Spinosaurus to breathe while partially submerged in water. All these features, along with Spinosaurus's North African shoreline habitat, suggest that Spinosaurus led at least a partly aquatic lifestyle. Fish probably made up at least some of its diet. While scientists do not have direct evidence that Spinosaurus hunted aquatic prey, they have found fish fossils in the stomach contents of a dinosaur closely related to Spinosaurus, one which lived in a similar environment. While it's possible Spinosaurus might have even relied exclusively on aquatic prey, most scientists who study dinosaurs think it probably hunted on both land and in water, much like some bears do today. Scientists point out that Spinosaurus had relatively large forearms, which it could have to use to walk on all fours when hunting in water. But when walking on land, Spinosaurus could have just used its hind legs, like most other meat-eating dinosaurs. With an ability to hunt down prey on both land and water, few animals would have been safe from one of the largest predators ever to walk our planet. 